Well, Claire Russell worked for years as an auto worker and was devastated when her plant shut down. She lost her home, but not her spirit. At the age of 37, she started painting, and now she claims that she is the fastest painter in the world. Some of her work is owned by famous people like Reverend Jesse Jackson, Sir Elton John, and even President Obama. Photojournalist Joe Cromer has her story. Losing my house, all my clothes, all my shoes, even the beds that we slept on, um, took me down to the bottom, and no one ever knew it. To lose everything, um, become homeless, and actually sleep in my car was something that I never imagined that would happen to me. Um, and it was just, it was just a lot to take in at one time. Not feeling that you can take care of yourself or your children is something that most people have never felt. And when you feel that, you feel like you have nothing. I have the ability to draw a crowd because of the speed that I paint at. So I am the fastest female artist of any race in the world. My style is strictly my style, which is 3D 360. When you look at my work, you see me on each canvas. They call me the Black Bob Ross. <laughs> I just need an afro. I paint on any surface, so I saw the skin was bare and it had no color to it, so why not put body art on your clothes to dress up any outfit when you go out? Um, I do give work away to people who cannot afford it and it brings them to tears. Um, they're overwhelmed by my story as well as my work. I used to wonder how people ended up losing their homes and you see people sleeping on the streets and we tend to look at those people with disgust and you never know what somebody's been through. Um, it's opened my eyes and my children's eyes. I've always had the urge to do for people. All the material things don't matter because they can be gone in a second. But as long as I'm happy and I'm healthy and can make things for people, that's all that matters. Her work is beautiful. Claire sells her paintings through the internet and you can find her on Facebook. We have a link to her page, wtol.com slash your day.